Let's explore APM in CoreLogix. We'll begin on the APM service map. So you can see here that we have all the different applications connected together. We can see different latencies. So when we hover over these, we can see different error rates. So for example, add service minus 1%, 2.939% milliseconds, that's cool. 0%, 2.64%, that's good. So no errors, no very low latency. 5%, 70 milliseconds. That's a high error rate and it's very slow. So from there, we can jump to the service catalog. So in the service catalog, we can actually see a breakdown of all the different services. And if we open up our front end where we saw some latencies and some errors, we can see our application and all the different places that it's connected to. So we can see the different applications to which our application is talking. Super cool, it shows all the different connections in your service for this specific application. We can see high level statistics here, indicating request per service, errors group by action, and importantly, the average and P95 latency. So what this is gonna show you is the average and also the variance of your traffic as well. Super important to also show uh, percentiles as well as averages. If we jump to actions here, we can see all of the different actions that are related to this front end. And we can see this cart checkout here. That's a problem. That's a very, very high error rate at 60%. So if we open that up, we actually get a breakdown of all the different requests and where the errors have occurred. And this one's huge, 290 milliseconds. So if we go into here, what this will do is take us to the traces in the CoreLogix UI. You can see that everything loads really, really fast, super sharp. Um, and what it means is that the application is going to load the traces. What we jump into here, we can see that the uh, this, this it's a very, very complicated trace with various different connection points here. We could go to this uh, endpoint here, see a bunch of metadata. If we select related data, we'll see some logs. We can see pod metrics for Kubernetes. And we can see something interesting here. We've just broke our SLO. So these are the metrics at the time of the trace. We've just breached our SLO here. That's super interesting. And if the pod metrics aren't showing any, anything interesting, like CPU and memory, you can jump straight to the host and see the CPU and memory of the host itself. Now, this is a snapshot related to the application. But what you can do if you want is go back to your related data, open up your related logs, and open logs query. This will take you to the logs for the application. So we've just gone from high level breaching SLOs, we're straight down into the detail with our logs. And you can see a, a, a breakdown here. So these are all the logs related to that span. And what we can do is we can select this, we can select this uh, ID here. We can open up the Kubernetes host dashboard. So we're soon adding a serverless dashboard as well. But what this means is that you can now see all the different pods running on the same host as an application that was failing in your service map. So this is the kind of connectivity and insight and observability that uh, CoreLogix offers. We go from high level view of the services all the way down to very detailed, very intricate information to give you the quickest route to a diagnosis as possible. Sign up today and check out CoreLogix.